And thank you, sir, for the introduction. Uh, good afternoon to you all. So to continue the symposium on operational diversities in military medicine, uh, let me deliver my talk on um, rupture of the deep nitrogen narcosis in divers. So uh, first of all, let me uh, ask you, have you ever been, I mean like, ever uh, imagined feeling drunk while scuba diving? Well, that's what essentially happens with uh, nitrogen narcosis, which is also called as rupture of the deep, uh, gas narcosis, uh, or Martini's effect, and some call it uh, narcs as well. So uh, let's see uh, what is it all about. So to give you an introduction, uh, so, you know, just imagine descending down to the depths of the ocean, surrounded by uh, mesmerizing marine life and uh, vibrant coral reefs, yet underneath this uh, tranquil facade uh, lies the silent danger, which is known as nitrogen narcosis, which can uh, alter your perception and consciousness, which can lead to dangerous consequences. So, uh, I mean, this narcotic effect can be caused by any inert gas you breathe, but uh, nitrogen being a major part of, I mean, major composition of the air you breathe, it is the main culprit. So, uh, looking back to the history, uh, this phenomenon was uh, described as early as in 1835, because as you all know, uh, people in, from the ancient time have, uh, uh, you know, attempted, attempted diving, uh, mostly skin diving, uh, uh, because uh, from many hundred years uh, before Christ. So, in the evolution of understanding nitrogen narcosis, this uh, Junod's 1835 report highlighted the peculiar charm of thoughts alongside occasional intoxication symptoms. Also, uh, Hill and McLeod in 1903 described intellectual impairment in uh, case on workers at 5.5 ATA. And uh, the important thing is in 1935, Benke, Thompson, and Motley proposed the widely accepted theory. Um, which cause the compressed air intoxication. So to understand the mechanism of this, for the easy understanding, let's break it down to three uh, main key points. So uh, the first one is uh, the scuba divers, as you and me, breathe normal air around us, which is compressed in the gas cylinders. So it contains uh, nitrogen in 79%, oxygen in 21%, and so on. And secondly, uh, the atmospheric pressure around us, or the atmospheric pressure at the sea level. So it is about, I mean, it is ex uh, not exactly, but anyway, it's uh, 760 mmHg, as you all know, which is equal to 14.1 kilopascals, uh, which is also equal to 1 ATA, 1 atmospheric absolute. So what happens when a diver dives down to a water body, uh, particularly the sea, uh, this ambient pressure around him will increase. How will that increase is at 10 meters it will be double, and 20 meters it will be triple, and so on. So remembering that, if you just look at the Dalton's law, what it says is uh, the total pressure exerted by a mixture of gas is equal to the sum of partial pressures of each gas in that mixture. I mean, the air we breathe is a gas mixture, right? So, when the diver dives down, the total pressure of the air he breathes increase, so the proportionately, the uh, partial pressure of nitrogen will be increased, right? So, remembering that, let's go to the third point. So, the, the third point will be Henry's law, where it says, a mixture of gas which is in contact with the solution when the partial pressure of that gases will increase, the solubility will be increased, right? So the in this diver, now the nitrogen partial pressure of his breathing air will be in, is increased and the solubility will be increased, right? So 
Now the nitrogen, uh, nitrogen will, you know, due to this uh, high uh, partial pressures, it 